Steps in Educational Research Step 1. Selecting a problem. Research problem is the basic component for every investigation. So first, researchers need to find the actual problem or issues in the field they want to do research. Following can be the reason for why researcher need to identify problems first. To identify that what one tends to find out through research to show that there is certain issue in field that one has chosen to research. To spell out clearly the context of research. To lead to relevant research questions, objectives, and effective title. Steps in selecting research problems. Identify the area of your interest. Categorize broad area of interested field into sub-area to narrowing down the problem. Select one sub-area that can be introduced as an issue or problem. Raise research question to focus while doing research. Formulate objectives based on questions. Check the correspondence between objectives and research problems. Points that should be kept in mind while selecting a research problem. The problem should neither be too broad nor too narrow. Topic of research should be familiar and feasible so that the researcher can easily have access to related research materials. Controversial subject should be avoided while selecting a problem or an issue. Step 2. Review the literature. Review of literature educates the researcher about what studies have been conducted in the past, how those studies were conducted, and their conclusion. Study of related literature places researchers in better position to interpret the significance of their own research. It helps the researchers to broaden the knowledge on research topic and to bring clarity in research problems. It helps the researchers to limit their questions and to clarify and define concept of study and to avoid unintentional replication of previous studies. Steps in selecting research problems. Selecting a review topic. Deciding the scope of review. Finding the literature related to topic. Studying and analyzing the selected literature. Writing the summary of literature review. List references. Sources of literature can be primary, secondary, and online resources. We will talk about this in detail later. Types of literature review. Theoretical Review and Empirical Review. We will talk about this also in detail later. Step 3. Designing the Research. Research design is considered as the blueprint of the proposed research. It includes how the study will be conducted, what kind of population, called a sample in research language, will be needed and why the sample is relevant to the research topic. How the sample will be selected. Type of data that will be collected. The means to be used to obtain these data. Types of data analysis and how the data will be presented. Explanation of each method that will be used. Research design can be either experimental or non-experimental. It is to minimize errors and maximize reliability and validity of data. It can be qualitative or quantitative. We will learn about experimental research, qualitative and quantitative research later. Step 4. Collecting data. In this step, researcher must collect relevant information regarding the problem of the study. Data are always crucial in case of research, and the way to collect information varies in qualitative 
and quantitative research. In quantitative data collection, we use an instrument to measure variable in the study. And in case of qualitative research, we collect data through primary resources, observation, interviewing, and questionnaire, and secondary resources, government publications, earlier research, census, personal record, client histories, service record, etc. Data are collected for an inquiry depending on research questions and research objectives. Step 5. Analysis of data. Analyzing data is the heart of the research report and it follows several techniques. Categorization and classification. Comparison and contrast. Use of statics, tables, and charts. After collecting data from various resources, the researcher must organize the collected data in systematic manner and then make calculations where necessary. Collected data should be analyzed and interpreted using accurate means such as statics, logics, arguments, comparison, contrast, generalization, discussion, and so on. In quantitative research data analysis can be done using mathematical procedures called statics. And in case of qualitative research, researcher gathers a text database. So rather than using statics, they can analyze words or pictures to describe central phenomena under study. Step 6. Interpreting the findings. The next step is to interpret the findings. In quantitative research, researcher must interpret data based on result found through application of mathematical procedures. Hypothesis can be tested as per the standard norms and procedure using level of significance. Quantitative researcher can explain their interpretations in detail with empirical observations of the events. They must elaborate their observation regarding subject under study. The interpretation and writing skill of the researcher have crucial role in explanation or interpretation of research. Step 7. Drawing Conclusions Based on the analysis and interpretation of the research investigator, must draw a valid conclusion regarding the research conclusion. Researcher must ensure the fulfillment of the research objectives, acceptance or rejection of research hypothesis made before for the study. Further researcher must evaluate the validity of conclusion drawn from the research study.